Hi traders and welcome to Price Action Trading School Session 8. So today we are talking about Beginner's Guide to Fundamental Analysis. And uh, I will explain uh, most important points regarding uh, fundamental analysis and uh, what you should be focused at uh, during uh, trading day and of course uh, during uh, definitely during uh, different uh, trading sessions. So pay attention to this. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today. And uh, this session is being recorded and it will be uploaded to our YouTube channel. So before we start, uh, let me tell you that you're attending uh, our uh, Price Action Training School Revised. Uh, this is uh, my proprietary uh, Price Action Training School where I teach you to trade properly and all important aspects of uh, technical and fundamental trading with, of course, uh, a very important, essential and crucial price action principles. And of course, price action training school is based on practical naked trading. That has been the basis for Camarilla MACD, my own proprietary method. And we have four different pillars, price action trading, market analysis, risk management and trading psychology. OK, so now uh, what is a fundamental analysis? Uh, the first thing, uh, so we go with first thing first. What is fundamental analysis? Subjects of analysis, main players, important factors, and of course, calendar key releases. This is also what we will be covering, uh, calendar key releases. I will be showing you uh, which uh, uh, news, uh, which uh, data release you should be uh, careful at and what you should be following and so on. With price action training school, we will also deal with news trading systems, but that will come a little bit later uh, during the course. So uh, fundamental analysis is the analysis of the overall state of the economy, interest rates, production, earnings, and definitely management. Okay, not just country management, but also micro and micro uh, uh, and macro economical research. Uh, fundamental analysis is the basics of interpretation of different statistical reports and different economical indicators that include, but not really, but are not limited to GDP, uh, CPI, uh, uh, those are inflation data, uh, also uh, unemployment rate, and of course, from time to time, stress tests that are uh, conducted by uh, banks. Fundamental analysis uh, maintains that markets may misprice a price in the short run, but that the correct price will eventually, eventually be reached or that it will eventually follow. Profits can be made by purchasing this mispri uh, mispriced pair and then waiting for the market to recognize the mistake and reprice it. That occasionally happens and very often happens in Forex market where algos trade the news release and then suddenly after a big spike to the upside, we have a big drop to the downside. And that usually happens when some big headline risk is about to come like Brexit news or something where we can see a down move, up move and then price uh, correcting itself. Uh, fundamental analysis has the broader impact on the price than technical analysis. But then again, without a technical analysis, we are not able to trade on intraday timeframes and very occasionally swing timeframes. So that is why I say uh, technical analysis will usually win over fundamental analysis, but it's the best that fundamental analysis and technical analysis are aligned. Okay. And I say that market is in equilibrium when fundamental analysis goes together with technical analysis. OK, that means that fundamentals perfectly follow the tax or technical analysis. And that is the time when we usually are able to make good profits when fundamental analysis follow uh, technical analysis. OK, the metaphor of fundamental analysis uh, is basically using these fundamental factors, such as political factors, uh, interest rates, and of course, social economic factors. And why does uh, one need this kind of analysis? Because it will help us identify conditions for breaking the existing trend, 
It will also helps us, help us to understand the cause of what is happening in the markets. And it's also used for, uh, for long-term forecasting. Uh, I don't like to use uh, the long-term forecasting simply because those fundamental factors might change over time and we might be wrong if we do the analysis today and something big happens in next year or two. So that is why I'm saying technical analysis is very, very good if it goes along with fundamental analysis. And we will also cover that next time we will talk about technical analysis. Now, what is the subject and what are the subjects of fundamental approach? Those are the, the policy of central banks, such as ECB, uh, Fed, BOJ, RBA, BOC. So it's uh, European Central Bank, Federal Reserve, Bank of England, Bank of Japan, Reserve Bank of Australia, Bank of Canada, Reserve Bank of New Zealand, Public Bank of China, and so on. So the policy of central banks shape the fundamental analysis. It's also macroeconomic data, such as economic calendar, then intermarket analysis like interconnection of markets and other factors such as carry trade, sovereign crisis, etc. Now, the essence of monetary policy is crucial for understanding fundamental analysis. Monetary policy, guys, is the process by which the monetary policy authority, uh, usually of a country, that is uh, usually a central bank or currency board, controls either the cost of very short-term borrowing or the monetary base targeting an inflation rate or interest rate to ensure the price stability. And that is usually done by central banks. And usually uh, further goals of uh, different uh, monetary policies, uh, usually they want to uh, contribute to stable GDP or gross domestic product and to achieve uh, the, and maintain low unemployment and to maintain predictable exchange rates with other currencies. Then we also have quantitative easing. Uh, if, if you're not sure what quantitative easing is, it's uh, basically the same as large uh, scale asset purchases. And it's a basic, basically it's an expansionary monetary policy where the central bank buys a predetermined amount of government bonds or other, let's say, financial assets in order to stimulate the economy and uh, increase liquidity. So that is uh, quantitative easing by the pure definition. And the goal of central bank with quantitative easing is definitely to stimulate the economy and increase liquidity. And usually it happens when inflation is very low or negative and the standard expansionary monetary pol uh, policy is ineffective. When it comes to that, then, uh, so, uh, then the central bank usually, uh, uh, usually defines their next steps with quantitative easing measures. Uh, also, there are different uh, statements, uh, minutes, and central bank meeting protocols that happen after the announcement of a cash rate. And uh, when that happens, it's, uh, the price can get very, very volatile. It can move very, very fast. Now, uh, this basically represents the graph of a uh, major central bank communicating with commercial banks and then uh, doing their own agenda on the country's uh, economy. Uh, with this, uh, it's important to know uh, what is a refinancing rate, and that is the rate at which central bank uh, finances commercial banks. While determining the refinancing rate, central bank makes it clear what the value of money uh, in the economy is. And definitely the main function of the banking system is to supply the economy with money. Or we call it loans because a uh, bank usually give you loans so it supplies the economy with loans or money. Now, it's important to know uh, what main players for uh, forex market and fundamental analysis are. Countries with borrowing and bond issues, central banks, companies, foreign exchange, fixing. It's also very important that there is usually a time when there is a foreign exchange fix. We will talk about it in future classes. Speculators, investment management firms, non-bank foreign exchange uh, companies, bureau de change, and money transfer companies such as Western Union. 
Okay, they also determine the decisive factor when it comes to determining uh, forex uh, currency rates. Also, guys, you need to know that economic policy is the basis for a deep fundamental analysis. Every cue that central bank or that uh, important uh, figure of central bank, such as central bank president or the board, uh, uh, declares it will be a basis for an immediate movement of the price that will fluctuate very widely in forex market. Government budgets, deficits of surpluses, balance of trade levels and trends, inflation levels and trends, economic growth and health, political conditions and market psychology, all of this makes the basis for a deep fundamental analysis. But because we are interested in trading the price, guys, and we usually trade the price on intraday or intraweek basis, we do not do any deep research on fundamental analysis. For you, as a Forex trader, it's important to know what are the main factors that contribute to fundamental analysis and what are the key releases that you should be follow when trading intraday or intraweek. The essence of monetary policy, it's important to mention. It. This is the essence, we already mentioned it, but also there is decreasing of interest rates and increasing the interest rates. When we talk about decreasing interest rates, okay, we talk about easing monetary policy. So it makes loans cheaper, such as mortgage, mortgage uh, consumer loans, and as a result, it stimulates consumption and business activity in the economy. Decreasing the interest rates will also result in a fall of interest rates on deposits and bonds. It also will spur growth on the domestic stock market. It will result in increased inflation in the economy and may result in so-called bubble. And it definitely has a negative effect on the domestic currency. So this is when we talk about decreasing interest rates or how we call it, usually traders, we call it uh, rate cut. Okay, so it's rate cut or decreasing interest rates. Then we have increasing interest rate rates. It's called monetary policy tightening. It results in a higher cost for loans and it limits business activity in the economy. It also results in a rise of interest rates of deposits and bonds. It puts pressure on the domestic stock market. It will result in decreased inflation in the economy and it has a positive effect on the domestic currency. And when we talk about increasing interest rates, we are always talking about monetary policy tightening. Okay, it's also very important. Any hints like rumors, announcements of the leaders, chairman, important uh, macroeconomic data on a possible tightening may have supportive effect on the currency. Any hints or signals about finishing a cycle of rate increase may have a negative effect on the domestic currency. And what we traders usually say is, buy rumors, sell facts. It's also very important to understand the thing when we say buy rumors, the price is usually bought. And when the fact is coming, the price is usually sold. Okay. Now, let's talk about next thing. What should be the focus for Forex traders, guys? Well, negative or positive GDP growth. If we have a negative GDP growth, two quarters in a row, that will be the beginning of a recession. Then GDP, that can be preliminary, revised, and final. Focus is on personal spending and personal consumer expenditures. Uh, also, some information might contain outdated data, and then we usually have so-called revision. Then ISM manufacturing, ISM services, Chicago PMI, uh, Phil Fed Index and New York Empire State Index. All of these news will affect the dollar and usually with dollar, other forex currency pairs will move. Then we have psychological level that is usually sits at 50 points and then sub indices such, such as new orders, price paid and employment. For all of this, I will show you the calendar so you can be focused on most important news releases during the day. Then also what is important is that we mentioned non-farm payrolls, 
and or so-called NFP that is held each first Friday of a month. And usually ADP or uh, average, oh, sorry guys, ADP uh, will give you, uh, ADP employment report will give you preliminary results for the NFP. And average work week or average hourly earnings will come together with NFP and an unemployment data. So when you're focused on uh, uh, NFP, pay attention to the first Friday of each month, where uh, at the same time, there will be releases for NFP, average hourly, er, hourly earnings, and <clears throat> unemployment rate. Then, uh, of course, ADP precedes NFP, and usually it happens on Wednesday, so two days before the NFP. Then we have inflation data, CPR, core CPI, PPI, core PPI. Usually the inflation should meet target level of a central bank. If there are any uh, deviations from the pre-predicted, from the predicted uh, inflation levels, there should be some big movements of in the market, big movements of the price. Then we have housing starts, building permits, new home sales, existing home sales. They are effectively connected to housing markets. Then we have S&P cash Shiller index. And of course, uh, NH, uh, and AHB index or National Association of Home Builders. It's connected to housing market. Now, what are effectively key releases? Interest rate decisions, NFP, FOMC decision, inflation, unemployment, industrial production, business sentiment surveys, consumer confidence surveys, trade balance, manufacturing sector surveys, and not so often, but they happen, it's called stress test. In order to basically see uh, what is uh, the main decisive factor for a day uh, regarding fundamental analysis or the price, I might advise you to use the calendar, guys. And the calendar that I usually use uh, and that I've been using for a long time uh, is uh, Forex Factory uh, calendar. So it's always good to follow uh, some calendar. I follow Forex Factory. I will show you. And this is how you read it. The most important news are marked in uh, red. Less important news are marked in orange. Uh, not so important news will be marked in yellow, but I tend to completely overlook them. So in order for you to effectively know what is going on in the market, I uh, advise you to follow this red news because this red news will have the most impact of the Forex on the Forex market and they will, be, they will have usually the biggest impact on the currency traded. So pay attention. So as I already explained in this webinar, uh, rate announcements, uh, 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 then when, uh, for example, usually after a rate uh, uh, announcement, there will be a cash rate decision or vice versa. For example, for dollar, usually we have with the cash rate decision and then we have a uh, statement. For the Australian dollar, it goes the same time, rate statement and cash rate decision. Then when chief of central bank speaks, it's also very important, like the governor Carney of Bank of England. Then we have gross domestic product, GDP. Then we have, again, rate statement, overnight rate, retail sales. So everything that I mentioned here is important. And that is red. That is marked with as red color. Uh, orange color is not that important. Yellow color can be neglected. Uh, you can trade safely. So why am I talking about this? Usually when you're in a position or trading, these use can actually kick you out of the market or give you some substantial profits. It's good to be at the right side of the market because if you miss this news, then usually you might miss a good position. But sometimes, if you, especially if you trade during the day, you cannot miss the news. They will follow eventually, and you need to be ready to protect your profits if you are in profits just after the news. So for Forex traders, guys, focus, go to Forex Factory, okay, and focus on this red news. If you are an advice trader, do not open any positions 15 minutes prior to, the, prior to the news or 15 minutes after the news. And I'm specifically talking about red mark news. Other than that, you can trade safely. So if you have any questions, guys, you can ask me. Uh, you can leave the comments below uh, our uh, below our video because the video is being recorded. It will be uploaded to YouTube. And of course, I invite you to come and join our uh, elite currency. Uh, it's uh, 
our service. It's called ECS Live, where we usually provide uh, signals during the day, trading, uh, trade management, and uh, we keep, of course, my FX book account uh, to show you which trades we made and how we actually do it. Uh, you can easily check it on our website, Elite Currency. I hope that this helped you a lot. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Next session is uh, technical analysis, and we are slowly getting into the core of trading its price action. So talk to you soon, guys, and cheers and trade safe.